Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. Let's take the robot out. Uh, we don't have any hegemony credits. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm actually going to go off book here. Who do I want to go? Uh, I, I want to do Boss Rush. We unlocked it last time. And I want to have a go at it, but I want to have a good go at it. I'm thinking maybe the Marine would be good for it. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll switch over to the Marine. We'll grab his secondary outfit. His little alternate skin there. And, uh... I have a couple reasons for wanting to do this. Mostly just to kind of... Oh! What? So, because we didn't do it that first time, now we have to pay money for it. Okay. So we will switch back over to the robot and just have a normal run, I guess. And maybe next time we'll do boss rush. Because apparently we are broke. Straight up no money. Let's ignore everyone else in here and just get on out. Straight down to the gungeon. Start whooping these dudes. Um, so our hunt is still the beholster. Because uh, we haven't seen it in... Basically, as soon as we got the Beholster hunt, we fought him twice in a row. And then, uh, last couple runs we haven't seen him. We've been given, like, the Ammo Conda. Ugh. And that fight's gone just about as well as you could expect. <laughs> oh, good. All those grenades are done. I was trying to just blow up one of them. And have the other two get caught in the explosion. But they kind of wanted to dance around each other. Okay, let's not get stuck in the doorway, because that's that's how silly damage, damage gets taken. Yeah. Okay, so is this the... Yeah, this is the um, fireplace room. I'm pretty sure. I know there's a water barrel up there, at least. There's probably going to be another wave of enemies with grenades. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely the fireplace room. I recognize this layout. Uh, I just need to be careful to not let shots just go up in that direction. I'm trying to shoot away from it and I'm trying to keep the enemies shooting away from it. Look at all this money! Where is that coming from? Yeah. I was right. Oh, I guess with the robot, we could just use the coolant beam. There. I did it. <laughs> I did it! I used my active item, and it worked. Check that out. It only took me 30 episodes. <laughs> but I finally used an active item. Okay. Uh, we got the shop over here to the right. Well, let's see what he's got for us. A key. That's about all I'd really expect to get. Um, the armor, though, maybe. Armor is valuable. Especially on this little guy little robot friend. I just really wish there was a way to convert the red hearts into armor. That would be amazing. Um, okay, so, robot. We've got, uh, benefit to getting junk. So, blue chest I'm not really looking at with any sort of value. Um, Although on the last run, there was something we got out of it. Scrambler, I think? Um, unfortunately, the last run was a blessed run. So, as soon as we picked up the Scrambler, it changed into something else. Something not the Scrambler. Alright, still need some red caped bulletkin, too. I don't remember seeing any on the last run. And I don't think you're actually guaranteed to get any on it any given run. I think that there's just a chance that they'll show up on each floor. And uh, the deeper down you go, the, the higher that chance gets. So it really behooves us to get all the way down to the forge and bullet hell and get some exploration done down on those floors. Give us a chance to find those little guys. They mean us no harm. They are just friends. Okay, so that is just a straight-up key. Or, a uh, chest. 
Um, green one, I, I feel like I'm way more likely to open. But, I don't know. I, I'm i interested in going to the Uber yet. Um, why? I, I don't know. There's not really anything down there for us, but maybe... <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to open this green chest, and then maybe we'll buy a key and open the blue chest as well. Okay, so this is the blink. Bloodied scarf. Blink away. Um, this will actually let you find the secret room, but then you can't... Um, you can't really see what's going on in the secret room. That's the problem. But you can hop in there and like save a blank at least not here and does not appear to be right here either all right let's just buy this key come up here and open this chest we know it's gonna be a gun is that the secret word? nope okay I'm hoping we can find some uh, some of those rooms that have um, just like a locked cell door with a chest behind it those are really nice, uh, especially when you've got, you know, the little blink, ancient hero's bandana. Is that what it's called? Let me just double check on that. Bloodied scarf. Okay, ancient hero's bandana is the other one. It's the other scarf-looking thing. Okay. Um, shot bow is doing all right. I forgot that we did not have a dodge roll any longer. It's just a little blink. I hope that this doesn't mess me up too much over this run. Because I do think this is a really cool item. It's just a little difficult getting used to uh, no longer being able to actually roll. That change in animation is just awkward to get used to. Especially after so many runs with the dodge roll. Okay. Got some money. We got a little bit of armor, I guess. Riddle of lead. This you can trust. Excuse me? A relic of the first hero to master the gungeon, those whose skill attracted the envy of Caliber herself. Bestows unreasonable courage in the face of danger and the luck to survive it. Okay. Not really sure what that means. Um, I'm not sure where the secret room is then. You should be able to just kind of blink into it with the, uh, with the bloodied scarf, but couldn't seem to find it. That's okay. We only checked a couple of rooms, really. Just the couple of basic rooms that it's most likely to be in. Chamber 2. We are almost out of ammo with the uh, with the shot though. The boss there took quite a few hits. But actually, if you look at it, it was 89 hits or so. Um, this is a little weird because I don't know how far the teleport range really is. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I would have made it off of that anyways. Okay. That room's a little awkward. Um, you can actually sell the Ancient Heroes bandana. Or, I keep calling it that. The Bloody Scarf. Um, and I'm thinking that against some bosses, it might actually be detrimental to hold on to. But then something like Wallmonger, supposedly, I've never gotten it to work. Um, but supposedly, you can use it to teleport behind him. And then you're immune to all of his attacks, basically. Uh, so we've got the YV Shrine here. Definitely interested in filling that full of money. Um, and then up here we've got some rings that I'm not too interested in. Although the lockpick might not be bad. Huh. Because it could end up saving us a lot of keys throughout the run. And then still promoting the collection of junk. Just thinking. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and give that a couple of bucks. Just to start with. Um, how much money are we going to give the shrine? I don't know. How much money are, is the game going to give us? Because uh, it, 
it's a higher chance every time you offer tribute to the shrine that you'll get the bullet procs. Um, or I guess the extra bullet bullets. Um, it's like a 3.75 chance or something like that. Uh, with every... <clears throat> or like an increase of 3.75% uh, chance for the multiple bullets to shoot off. Uh, for every level of tribute you provide. I don't, I don't know how, how best to say that other than what I just did. Um, so, yeah, see, you can kind of teleport in here. Uh, can't pick anything up, though, it would appear. Or we would have grabbed that armor. Uh, am I stuck? No, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's just blank, come in here and grab that armor for real. Um, unfortunately, I would also like to be able to buy keys. Um, or at least one key for maybe the lockpick, and then we'll just use that. I don't know. Why V shrine keys? Like, it, the, the key, the value of the key depends on the value of the item we get from the key. The value of the shrine, we kind of know. That's, that's not really an unknown amount. Um, it's kind of a random amount of value. We don't know for sure how much we're going to get because it's, you know, a 3.75% chance every time I pull the trigger. Um, but you have to think about it this way. It's 3.75 chance every time I pull the trigger. That doesn't mean after 30 trigger pulls I'm guaranteed to get one. Every, it just means that, you know, it's extremely unlikely that that will have occurred. But every single bullet... Oh, what the hell. I was stuck in the wall. Uh, I teleported into the door for a second there. That sucked. Um, but yeah, e every trigger pull refreshes that chance. It's the same thing as flipping a coin. Alright, so we got two keys in here. $30 each. That's not too terrible. Um, so I, I could probably get one key, get the lockpick, and then s maybe still get enough money to, uh, to feed the shrine once more. Let's see. Okay, well, I hate the lead maiden starting to move off, but it did give us a little bit of cash. Oh, that's the only enemy in there. Wow. I thought that room had a couple of waves. Tell you what would be great is if the game would have given us a cell creep in the shop. Um, because I, I do think I'm gonna get rid of the bloodied scarf. With the robot as scarce as usable health is for him, um, I think I'm just better off uh, using the techniques that I'm more familiar with. In this case, the dodge roll over the, the blink of the bloodied scarf. Uh, it sounds like a Agatha Christie mystery murder, murder mystery novel. The blink of the bloodied scarf. Okay, so we do actually have enough money to do this. Get that. Let's come through here and grab the lockpick. <clears throat> and on our way through, we can dump off our money in there. Thank you. So we have about a, we've done it three times now, so we've got about a 10% chance. That's pretty good. That is not bad. Um, neither of these are really close to a teleporter. What the hell. Um, we are only going to be able to do one of them uh, before the boss fight. And then we should be able to recharge our active item during the boss fight. Okay. That one broke. And it's worthless. Thanks. A uh, cool little thing that you saw me do with the bloody scarf just there is uh, you can use it to just jump over walls. Um, you can use it just to kind of get around rooms a little bit quicker. Um, oh god. Okay. No worries. We got this. Oh, worries. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how I got hit there. That sucks. I was really thinking, oh, this is probably going to be a pretty easy flawless. 
Nope. Just got hit by a bullet off the corner there. Oh, what? Okay, so I'm gonna have to, um... So with the Gorgon, when you get stunned like- or when she shoots out that little stone attack, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, she shoots out the ring that turns you to stone. Um, whenever she does that, you can either dodge roll through it, which I tried to do, and that did not appear to work, or you can look away. So say she's where the elevator is, she shoots out that ring attack, we just gotta look away, and it won't affect us. Because that's how the Medusa and the Gorgons did it, right? You gotta look them straight in the eye. Well, you had to look at their face, and she was so ugly or something. Snakes for hair, you turned to stone. And then, who was it? Perseus? I think it was Perseus that went there with the mirrored shield and the helm of invisibility or something. Am I thinking of the same myth? It's been a minute since I've read about Perseus. Perseus? I think that, that was his name. I don't think it was uh, Jason and the Argonauts. That was uh, like the Golden Fleece. Okay. I'm surprised that bubble stayed intact. I'll just break it before I leave so it can fulfill its destiny of trying to hit me and make me sad. I'll give it one last shot. Okay. Woo! Um, looks like this route may double back around to the elevator room. Uh, okay, I'm really glad that that guy fell off the edge. The, uh, little guy with an axe. Okay, wow. I was able to sneak under those shotgun shells. Or shotgun bullets. Okay. That corner is getting a little dangerous with all those enemies shooting at me. Oh, I love the YB shrine, though. It's so good. So good. Okay, we got some more ammo, which we really don't need. I'll pick it up for the triple crossbow. We're missing two. I guess. Is that what it is, the triple crossbow? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I never went back and opened that other chest on the last floor. Whoops. That's embarrassing. Okay, so it's not there. And that's not gonna work. Hey, junk. Thank you. Robot actually has a use for it, so thanks. Um, oh, a glass shrine? Yes, please. I will gladly take that. A little bit of defense for free. What's to complain about? I mean, it's the equivalent of a room just dropping three glass wand stones on you. But, yeah, okay. And you didn't have to fight any enemies or do anything for it. Just gotta sit there and look pretty. And let me tell you, that's one thing I am good at. Um, still basically not missing any ammo. <clears throat> uh, can I jump over this wall? Sure can. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, there's a bullet. Uh, and then this guy's gotta go. I said this guy's gotta go. Alright. Woo! Almost got hit. Um, I would like to hit that plunger. There we go. Oh, that was the wrong one, huh? Uh, I would like to hit that plunger. Kill the dude in the middle. Okay. That was a weird dodge through all those bullets. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Should I have a key? Uh, ooh, the scope. And... Huh, nothing I'm really interested in here. Those are both active items. Uh, the scope, though might be interesting. Um, I'm wondering if I can, oh god, if I can, uh, 
jump through locked doors. Like, uh, if there's an NPC that... Hey, screw you. I don't even need that, but screw you. You can't have it. Um, if there's an NPC like the fairy in a bottle people, or the map maker, um, but they're behind a locked door, I wonder if I can just kind of jump over that. Like, could I jump over this door? No. Hmm. Not sure. I haven't played around too much with, with the bloodied scarf. Doesn't show up all that often. I'll go back to the right hand. So I'm still not sure of all the interactions with it, but I know a few. I know a few ways to to really make it work for you. Okay. Oh, there's still more. I thought we would be done. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can just teleport around. Hey, we got a free chest. Hey, we got a free stinger. Hello. Thank you. Secret room? No secret rooms. Alright, let's see what Winchester room we've got. If it's an easy one, we'll probably do it. Uh, this does not look like an easy one. How much do you want? 35? For this? Yikes, man. I don't know. I'll do it. I'll do it, I guess. Okay, so... Going for this one over on the left. Or, on... I can't. I don't know. On the right. I don't know my left from my right. Let's try that. Boom! There we go. Okay. So, definitely don't want that angle. Um, what if I shoot it up like this? This seems dumb. This seems like it's not really gonna work. Oh! Yeah, that didn't work. Um, how else can I angle this to make it work the way I need it to? I can get it, like, right there? Nope. Okay. Let's try right here, then. Okay, well, I hit one. Not the best use of, of my time. Uh, loot bag. Doesn't float. So, I'm still not really sure what this does, other than makes us drop our money when we get hit. <clears throat> Regardless of what it does, though... We're gonna roll in here. We're gonna blow up the treadnought. End the life of this monstrous machine. Oh wait, we're a monstrous machine too. Uh, uh, free our brethren from the slavery of the bullet kind. Yeah. We are robot, we are proud. I'm gonna blank because I got stuck in a really bad spot. Yeah, robot pride. Kill all humans. That's, uh... I think that's what Bender would want. Easy flawless. And is that the duct tape? Uh, it sure appears to be. So, duct tape... What do I want to match the stinger with? Maybe the mutation? That seems disgusting. I don't know how well this is going to work, but... Uh, wait, so then what just got... Joined with the stinger? Okay, yeah. So we've got mutation stinger. It's going to do that and shoot out rockets. Hell yes. This seems like it'll be fun. Um, we saw 42 monies, somehow, even after failing his thing so poorly. Um, unfortunately, it's just enough to not be able to afford the scope. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just move on down to the next floor then. Just carry on. Perhaps we'll find something down there. That floor was very good to us, I, f I feel like. Um, we got hit a couple of times. Not the best damage. But the stinger, duct tape. What else did we get? 
junk. <laughs> Can't complain. Ooh, that was a little scary. Okay. I'm not sure what that riddled with lead thing does. And the loot bag, I really don't know, other than it just... You drop money when you get hit. You drop your money when you get hit. Okay, key. Very nice. I like it. Uh, so now we just need to find shop. And then we can pick up the key without... Um, without despawning any keys from the shop. And maybe we... I don't know. Maybe we want to despawn the key from the shop. Because we have the lockpick. Keys aren't super valuable to us. Basically, at this point, they're just for guaranteed chests and then um, and then NPC rooms. If I can't jump over the wall. Okay. This room's easy peasy. Woo! Well, I thought it was easy peasy. What the hell? There's a lot of these guys. Just swarming. Goodness. Is that it? There we go. Easy peasy. What did I say? Uh, I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Just get the ammo on that one. Okay. And, uh... So far, this floor is going quite well. Come across some weird enemies, but nothing nothing's really popped out as being dangerous. Okay, a lot more money in our pockets here. Um, yeah, see I hate this. I, I, I would feel so much better if I had the dodge roll in that room. I imagine the hammer room on the fork is gonna make me wanna die. Okay, I'm just kind of letting off shots here. This is why I don't mind using um, the robot's right arm for so long. It's like, it still works very late into the game as an effective room-clearing weapon. Um, and then it's unlimited ammo, so you can just let off shots. Got nothing to worry about. You're not wasting any ammo. Just more shots fired, more chances to kill dudes. Okay. Oh, there's one right behind me. Oh, get the hell out of my face. Okay. Woo! Unscathed. Um. Get away from me, please. I hate this. <laughs> Okay. Actually, he gave us 18 money right there. That's awesome. Just from that one enemy. Uh, I, I really can't complain about that. Just, yes please. More of that, less of everything else. Oh. See, that's where the dodge roll would have not made me take damage. Because um, I tried to dodge roll, but I guess I wasn't moving far or It's weird. Uh, teleporting with this, because you can't just, like... I, I don't know how to describe it. I, I really don't know how to describe it without... If you've never used the bloodied scarf, it's... It's just weird trying to dodge roll sometimes. Sometimes it wants to roll... Or sometimes it wants to give you the teleport, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it'll just kind of blink you in place. I don't know, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. <laughs> That's the more likely po uh, possibility, more likely explanation. Oh, this guy popped up right behind me. Sneaky sneak. How many more are in here? None? Good. Uh, still looking for the shop. We've got two keys on the floor. So we don't really need uh, to use the lockpick on this, on this floor, or maybe on the next floor, just kind of depending on what kind of chests we get. Um, ammo? I guess we need it for the crossbow. Ah, this is cool. Both of our item rooms are right next to each other. I like that. 
trying to jump into the walls and see if I can find the secret room that way. No? Okay. Um, I won't, I won't waste too much time on that. Let's see. We got four bullets here, none of them got capes. So we'll just kill them all. Mo murder, mo murder. Uh, okay. Oh, oh! There was one little bullet right there that just about hit me in the face. It was like, I don't know. It was coming towards me, but in the same line as the bullets I was shooting out, I think. So I didn't recognize it as an enemy bullet right away. Until about eh, half a second before it shot me in the face. I was like, oh, that's, that's not mine. I didn't fire that one. I don't have boomerang bullets or anything. Which, uh, I don't think that's a thing. But if, if it's not probably should be. Oh, here we go. Yeah, perfect use of the bloodied scarf. Check that out. A free five monies and a blank. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll take it. Free blank, right? And the money is... Eh, it's free. I had to do nothing for it. Other than hold on to this teleporty scarf. Yeah, I think the yellow guy's got to go first. He's going to be a problem. And then I can just stand over here and pop off shots at face boy. Alright. Uh, uh, Elder Blank and the Reload Stone. Those are so good. Those are so good. Um, wow. I'm not sure which one I want more. I mean, Elder Blank is probably going to be the more likely option to buy, just because it's considerably less expensive. Um, but the Reload Stone is really good, too. Uh, which teleporter is closest? I guess maybe the, this one? And I think I'm going to use a key on the green one and lockpicks on the blue one. What do we got? Eh, Magnum. That's fine. It's not great, but it's workable. Junk! Yay! Okay. Um, so I have at least one more room down here. Did we find the boss fight yet? No. So this might be the boss fight. It is the boss fight. So let's switch to our abomination weapon here. Oh! And this might actually be uh, an okay time to try out the thing with, uh, with the bloodied scar getting behind Wallmonger. I just don't know exactly how to do it. Although, with the mutation... Oh, crap. I don't think I actually got hit there. Um, but with the mutation... I am going to have to, like, reload the stinger. Yeah, I did take damage there. Damn it. That's awkward. I have to, like, hold down the trigger for the mutation, but then also actively re reload the stinger. I hope I didn't make a terrible mistake <laughs> and ruin two good weapons. Um, how much money do we have? 97? How much was the, the Elder Blank? Was it 98? Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, uh, so I guess I'm not buying either of those. How much is the ammo at 98 also? God damn it. Okay, um, I'll just buy armor and, and then we'll just go to the next floor. 97, we needed 98. Ah, uh, I blame myself for playing that stupid Winchester game on the last floor. Uh, I even knew that it was going to be a hard one. I looked at it and I said, nah, screw that. I don't need to do that. And then, sure enough, I played it, and I did terribly. Just terribly. Um, I, I don't know why I have this weapon equipped. Um, that was terrible. I... 
I'm pretty sure I did the same thing there. I tried to blank and ended up still getting hit. I think I took contact damage from the enemy. Yikes. Oh. Uh, where's that guy at? Because that's got to stop. Yeah, you can't just be summoning dudes in here. Okay. You can't just bring your friends to parties that they're not invited to. It's rude. What if the host didn't bring enough snacks for everybody? And now all of a sudden you're bringing extra people, and some of the people that were invited don't get their snacks? Hell no. Same idea, except that in this case it's bullets. Okay, we are on the forge. Uh, health is looking a little... desperate. Um, everything else is looking okay, though. We got plenty of guns. Oh, shit. We got some cool passive items. Um, yeah, we picked up a little bit of hegemony money this, uh, this time around. I'll check here in a second how many credits we picked up. Seven? It's not bad. It's enough for another blessed run or challenge run or... The boss fight, boss fight, or uh, boss rush was three, so we could do that a couple of times if we wanted. So really, health is the only thing that's like uh, a little bad. And really, the only other thing I can complain about is the lack of red caped bulletkin on this run. Uh, I was gonna be pretty upset if the mage jumped over to the other side there. Oh, that is... That I feel like that's just telling me to pick it up. It's not going to be a, worth a whole lot. It's essentially two armor, one on this floor and one on the next floor. Um, so it's a little bit cheaper than buying that armor piece that she was selling. Because <clears throat> it's 36 per armor, basically. <clears throat> um, that's, that's the value I'm getting from it. Oh, okay, well, there goes one of them. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why it got framey for like two seconds there. <clears throat> Looking at my recording and it's not showing any like drop frames or anything or any laggy. Strange. I'm looking at my recording, uh, oh, what's it called? Like metering software. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I hate these guys. They suck. Yeah, if... I'm not saying they need to be taken out of the game, but out of all of the enemies, like, these guys and the green version of them are probably two of my least favorite. They're just obnoxious. Those bubbles get right in the way of your bullets, and then... Instead of hitting the enemy or screwing yourself, it's kind of like the red mages that catch your bullets and throw them back at you. Screw those guys, right? Okay, made it. That room was not as bad as I thought, but we only had to go about half the distance. <laughs> and that makes it a lot easier. Uh, yeah, I need to get out of that dude's face ASAP. Okay. Safe. Well, safer. I like how when you kill the shotguns that shoot out the three waves really fast. Um, I'll use a key, I guess. Hey, drum clip. Um, I like that when you shoot them and kill them, they just kind of like turn to ash. Oh, found the secret room. Hello, there's some stuff in there too. Let's pop that. What do we get? Ah, uh, flame hand. That's fine. It's not spectacular, but it's okay. I don't know how much use it's really going to get. Um, well, I don't know. I guess I could pop it out here. Um, I don't think the flame hand is going to work on the flame enemy, though. Something tells me that's not going to work out. Yeah, this is... Oh god, another hit. That's bad. Um, 
this is a point in the game where I'm pretty comfortable just using all of the other weapons we've got at our disposal here. Uh, we have found the shop, so we can pick that up. I don't think she... I don't think the shop on the forge, um, the blacksmith, I guess, I don't think she holds true to the... If you don't pick up a key, then there will be one in the shop. I don't think that holds true on this floor. Okay. Safe. Um, watch, there's gonna be, like, a special merchant that sells the, uh, I don't know, something, something better than what we picked up in the shop. Uh, like, the Elder Blank. Elder Blank's gonna show up again in a special merchant shop, like, on this floor, and we're actually gonna have enough money for it now, if I hadn't bought the Gun Knight gauntlet or whatever it was. I think I picked up the gauntlets, not the boots. And then that would end up saving the run more so than the couple pieces of extra armor. I see, I, I just think about stuff like that as alternatives. I'm like, well, what if this happened instead? Or, you know, as soon as I make a decision, uh, I come across an alternate decision that would have been possible if I hadn't just made that other decision. It's like, oh, that would have worked out way better for me, but I'm stuck on this path now do that all the time. Uh, I hate this. Who the hell thought they were funny when they made this room? Because, uh, screw that guy. Okay. That room's cleared out. What do you got for us? Green chest? We got one key left. Why not? It's a void shotgun. Uh, we already found the secret room, didn't we? Sure did. Alright, so let's go find this dragon everyone's talking about. Uh, nope. This isn't it. That ain't it at all. Okay. Tons of money coming in. Um, we could go back and buy another piece of armor, actually. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, I mean, it's... I think the first time we fought the dragon as the robot, we ended up flawlessing it. Um, I, I don't see that happening again though that's i mean it's it's not something i expect to only ever happen once but it's also something i don't ever expect to happen again at the same time if that makes any sort of sense all right uh what do i want in terms of weaponry i think a mutation I have to like kind of claw this so that I can actively reload. It's a little weird. This is strange. Because mutation has a little bit of knockback on it too. Blink? Okay. This is nuts. <laughs> the active reload on the stinger is a little weird. Oh, I almost got through the or almost got through that without getting hit. I don't know if I would get the flawless on this next phase, but Woo. very narrowly avoiding those. Okay, cool. This phase I'm expecting to be kind of hellish. Um, because of my teleporting, um, but I'm, I don't know, I've just had trouble with it in the past, I guess, because it moves you so far forward that sometimes it can kind of put you into the next row of bullets past the, okay, I'm not sure what happened there, it looked like I just didn't jump at all, but I was pretty sure I, I said dodge roll, I'm pretty sure I input that command. I should definitely be using the Void Shotgun to take out the heart. On some of the thicker paths, it's actually easier to just skip one of the... Like, what the hell was that? What happened there? It's almost like it hit the scarf, and the scarf killed the bullet. I don't know. Um, but yeah, sometimes it might be a little easier to just go through the thicker portions and skip one of the gaps in the bullets. 
right. Woo! So not quite a flawless, but very close. Very, very close. Now we just got bullet hell to deal with. That's weird. It shows us still having the bloodied scarf, but then uh, it doesn't actually teleport us. I'm sure it's just for that room. Maybe they don't want you to go out of bounds with it. Because I have seen videos on Reddit of people going way out of bounds on that room. Uh, I think using, like, the Gun Knight Greaves and Roll Bombs or something. Not Gun Knight Greaves. What's the... Gun Boots. That's what I'm thinking of. Gun Boots. Okay. Bullet Hell. Let's do this. Are we going to kill the Lich? I don't know. Uh... Maybe. I guess it's possible. Uh, with, you know, what I'm looking at right now, mm, it's not looking likely. Oh, yeah, see? Like, right there, that was... If I'm trying to kill the Lich, I need to not be doing that. Okay. 38 monies, huh? Oh, yeah, money has no purpose on this floor. <laughs> I don't think the special merchants can even show up. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. No. Oh, they were nice there. I was so sure I was going to get an extra hit of damage from... Because I got hit once, and then I fell down in the hole. So I thought it was going to count that as two separate hits. But they were actually generous and only took one armor away from me there. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is rough. Oh god. Get me out of there. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be running out of ammo for this very quickly. For this uh, void shotgun here. Luckily, we've got some other guns we can use, but... <laughs> uh, I know the mutation is almost dead. Um, what is it? The triple crossbow? is probably gonna go quickly. It's only got a hundred ammo. Oh, come on. This is rough. Okay, cool. That one's dead. Um, this one has got to be close, right? I hit it once. Okay. Hit it twice. And you died too? Yes, you died too. Okay. Uh, that room is a I wouldn't say a dead end, I guess, but I didn't need to go there. Uh, it just looped back around to the beginning. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. This is... Not, uh... Not as easy as I'm making it look. I mean, maybe it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Don't get hit by the lasers. Okay. Um... How am I going to deal with the skeleton? I guess just kind of like that? Cool. I, w I was pretty sure that guy could have easily been the death of us. Well, it could have easily been the death of us. I thought it was going to be. Okay, he's dead. Got one more... One HP. Like, that's it. One health. That's all I got to work with right now. Just gotta keep that in mind. No silly damage. Stupid damage? I can't do much to, to fix stupid. But silly damage, maybe I can prevent. Um, where's my weapons? Here we go. Flame Hand will work. If Flame Hand won't work, then I think I still have some shots on the Magnum. Dirty Harry on some dudes. Do you have a Magnum or Desert Eagle? Now I'm unsure. Oh, now it doesn't matter. All right. Well, thanks for watching. That's definitely going to be the run for this, <laughs> you know, for this episode. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like the video and want to see more of them, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel, and you'll get notified anytime I post a new video. You can check out my live stream at twitchtv media and it, you can get notified for that page if you follow it. And if you want to get notified of videos and live streams, uh, or maybe just talk to me, say hey, whatever. 
uh, go ahead and follow my Twitter page at Big Bad Bard Media. If you don't want to do any of that and just hang out and watch another video, that's fine too. Have a great day.